How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another home built video. Now last episode, Dad introduced you to the new Nissan Note and in today's video we're going to get cracking on, get it prepped to be sold but first things first, now the wheels on it are pretty crispy so we're going to give them a real refurb. <laughs> seen that the Nissan Note wheels are super crispy and definitely not the one we for. Now right now you guys are sitting on top of the Audi S5 and underneath it has got all of our jack stands. So what we're going to do, we'll throw on the Audi wheels, we'll get our jack stands out, out from underneath it, lift up the Nissan Note and get the crusty things off. Yesterday it did start chucking it down, so this morning I quickly got all four wheels off the car. A couple of sandpapers over here ready to be prepped. Now you guys on the channel have seen me uh, refurb wheels all of the time, so there'll be an in-depth video up in the corner somewhere, where you guys can check it out after this video if you want any tips and tricks uh, for if you're doing it yourself. But right now, you guys will get slapped on time lapse, and I'll just crack these out, because, I mean, look at them. They need a bit of work. Alright, boom, these wheels are finally rubbed down. Now it's been about three hours because these were super corroded and I had to make sure they were all pretty decent so they wouldn't corrode again. But we can now get them edge primered and instead of doing the typical rattle can, we're going to be a bit fancy. We're going to get the spray gun out and we're actually colour matching them to the grill on the Nissan Note. So let's get some primer chucked on these and uh, we'll, we'll start painting them I guess. super late though and it's getting dark so tomorrow we'll crack open the paint show you the color and we'll get them sprayed but for the now that's as much as i can really get done they're looking good they actually look a bit i don't know they're reminding me of 350z wheels uh, <laughs> but tomorrow we'll get them sprayed and uh yeah we'll see you in the morning right guys don't know if you've noticed we're actually trying to film two videos at once here for the first time ever um i've actually You've seen this video already, but I'm welding up the mounts for the, the intercooler on the S5. I've actually ran out of welding wire and everywhere's shut so I can't end until tomorrow. Charlie's just finishing up the Nissan Note wheels that we're going to see in this video. I've just started them. 
Yeah, so while he's doing that, you've probably seen that on time lapse to be fair. While he's doing that and finishing this off, I'll take his on a wee walk around the note. Because um, we've got it all cleaned up. And I can point out some of the bits that are good, some that are bad. First guys, it absolutely stinks of fags. So I've actually left it for days with the windows open to try and air it out a wee bit. It had a nasty steering wheel cover on it, I've took that off and the steering wheel is a bit worn. But what I've ordered is one of the stitch on leather steering wheel covers. So we're going to have a laugh and see if we can stitch on our own steering wheel cover. If no, I'll go and buy a nice black cover for somewhere. Um, the interior, I don't know if you can see it, but the headlining's pretty filthy. And all these trims are really yellowed with the cigarette smoke. So we really, really need to clean this interior. When it comes to servicing, it's no got full service history. It's missing the last few years, so we're going to do all the oil filters, air filters, all the full. We'll go through everything all again. One of the biggest problems it's got is it's got a bit of a brake wobble, but the ABS light is also on as well. So we're going to fix that. There's a couple of tiny wee dinks in the bonnet. I'm not even going to worry about them at this price point. We'll stick some new wiper blades on it. Um, I've took the grill off so that I could go and get it colour matched because we're actually doing the wheels the same colour as the grill. So there'll be this kind of gunmetal grey colour. I think that'll just set it off a wee bit because uh, most of the notes have got silver wheels on them. I haven't seen any of these. Um, this ball joint. There's actually a load of play in that ball joint and the rear bush is starting to pop it. So I'm going to put a new bottom arm on that. Um, the paint works all a bit flat because it's not really been it's not really been looked after. It's had a couple of new springs on the back, so that's good. We'll clean and adjust the back brakes. And then one of the other biggest problems is this lacquer peel. So it is worse than what it was now because I power washed it. Tried to get as much of the loose lacquer off as I could. But yeah, that's it. Have you showed them the uh, the coolest part? What part? The secret compartment. You showed them that? No. No. No, Charlie found the secret compartment today. It's like, it's like uh, Vin Diesel's RX7 from Too Fast Too Furious. I didn't even know about them. It's just there's no NOS in there. Yeah, we should we should <laughs> put some NOS in it. But yeah, I didn't even know that was on notes. Uh, that's pretty cool. So there you go. It's not a base model. I can't even remember what what model it is. Is it an an Ascenta R or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, I don't. But see, uh, from from the rubbing down the wheels. They look like they've been diamond cut, diamond cut before. Yeah. Listen, it's got to be another tidy wee car when we're finished. It's just needing a bit of love. Right guys, how you all doing? You've got me back again. Charlie's at school. I'm finished filming the S5 video that you've already watched on Sunday there. Um, so this is me picking up, helping out Charlie with the video he's filming on the Nissan Note. So... You've already seen him prepare these wheels and he has done an awesome job of these. If you remember what these looked like when we first picked the car up, they were in a hell of a state and he's done a really good job of prepping them. So I'm going to start laying down the colour on them. I've also got the supports for the S5 hanging up. I managed to get some grey primer. So we're going to get these painted in black and then I'll lacquer everything all at the same time. So let's get that nice grey colour done on these wheels and then we'll have a wee look at them finished. <laughs> Couple of coats of the dark grey to match the grill and the fog lights around. 
I actually think this is a wee bit darker than uh, the grill and that, but it won't matter too much. It's got to be a cheap car at the end of the day, and they look so much better than what they did. I've got a couple of coats of the black on the uh, crash support and the mounts for the Mishimoto intercooler on the S5. So next stage is just to get these lacquered, but I'm not going to leave it on time lapse for that because every time you use lacquer around the camera, it just ends up a big bloody mess. So. I'll get these lacquered and we'll pop back and see the end result very shortly. So I'm back for school now. Um, Dad's just finished up lacquering the wheels on the drain. So while, while, while they're drying, I'm going to get the back bumper off uh, so we can get it ready for the paint. Are you putting my scratches on it? Uh, no. Have you, have you got out yet? <laughs> no. You're a little bit of trim. No. No. I managed to round one of the bolts. Why would you do that? Because somebody brought a posi drive out instead of a Phillips. And the experienced man used it. I just picked it up. What in the name of the wee man? Yeah, I used a throttle one. And still wearing the double. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's the inside nut in the welder, then it's right to Lucy left it, ain't you? I can't risk you up my business. It's your business as well, you should have a bit of pride and a bit of care. Get the car room off you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only a there. Maybe he was trying to find a shortcut. Oh, he's, he's been there for years. Just pull it aggressively. <laughs> right. Yeah, there you go. Clips. That's your, that's your new job. I don't do these things. Got it. Right, this, that needs a good wash before we take it in the garage as well. Yes. To get all the, because all that Filthy. crap. Filthy. See why that? That'll dry off in the garage, and then when you spray, it'll come off as dust. You know the drill, though, we've done this plenty of times. <laughs> There we go guys, nice new suspension arm going in. This one here, the ball joint's knackered and this bush is hanging out. You can see it clearer there. Now, normally I do these in pairs, but the other side's already got an arm that looks like it's only done a couple of thousand miles. So, in this case, I'm just going to put the one in um, and that should be good to go. <laughs> He's actually new suspension arm on. I've gave everything a clean up and a spray with satin black as well, you know me, I like to go a bit overboard on what I'm doing. I've gave all the inner arches a clean as well and put some vinyl and rubber dressing on them. And we've popped the front wheel back on. Now you can let us know in the comments what you think of the new colour. I think it's a wee touch darker than the, the grill, but I think it's going to look alright. Um, they're far better than what they were because the wheels were in terrible order. But yeah. All cleaned up, fully refurbished and ready to go. So while Dad gets the other side chucked on, I'm going to end the video here. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.